So good evening traders, welcome to Embo's uh, YouTube channel and uh, on this video we are going to be looking at structure mapping. Structure mapping and this is part one of structure mapping. So structure mapping, this is the introduction to order flow, introduction to order flow and uh, market structure will be our first topic for uh, the day. So market structure, in forex market, the prices do not move in a straight line as we all know. The market does not move in a in a straight line. So you get that in a bullish market, uh, prices make a series of higher highs and higher lows. Okay. So an example, this is a bullish market. Prices make a series of higher highs and higher lows. And like that. Okay. So this is here. This is a high. Okay. Then the next high that is forming the market. It is higher than the previous one, so that's why we are calling it a higher high. Then the next side that is formed is higher than the previous one, so it becomes a, a higher high. Then the market prints a series of higher lows and this one here. So this low, this low that we have here is higher than this low. So this one becomes here a higher low. Then this low that is here is higher than the previous one, so it becomes a, a higher low. So the market prints a series of higher highs and higher lows. Uh, in a bullish market okay then therefore in a bullish market prices print strong lows and weak highs okay and this is the foundation of order flow okay so in a bullish market these highs that are formed in a bullish market we refer to these as weak highs these ones here we refer to these as weak highs every high that is formed in an uptrend it is a weak high weak high weak high it is eventually going to be taken out in the market okay these are weak highs because the order flow is bullish and every law that is formed here is a strong law okay every law is a strong law a strong law a strong law in a bullish market okay uh in a bearish market market prints lower lows and lower highs an example in a bearish market the market does something like this it prints lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs so look at this these are these are high here then this high is lower than this one here the higher is that the market prints next is lower than the first high so this one becomes a lower high okay then we have this other high this one here becomes a lower high you can see then we have another high there this high here is lower than the previous one so it becomes automatically a, a lower high then on the flip side here we have lower lows here lower lows lower lows why are we referring to this as lower lows because we have look at this low here that is formed in the market it is lower than the previous one so this here is a lower so the market is in a downtrend and it is the opposite of a down, of an uptrend in a downtrend the market prints strong highs this is a strong high and it prints weak lows Okay, this is the foundation of order flow. It prints weak lows, not weak highs. Sorry, weak lows. Okay, so every low that is formed on a downtrend, it is a weak low, and automatically it's going to be taken out unless there is a shift in the order flow. Okay. Now, when you are marking your structures, you must be able to identify swing points. So to identify swing points, you must be able to differentiate between valid pullbacks and invalid pullbacks in the market okay you must be able to differentiate between a valid pullback and an invalid pullback in the market for you to identify the your swing structure okay so i'll be giving a demonstration of that later so a major pullback uh in a major pullback the market moves uh, makes a move up to a discount or a premium level where a minor pullback does not go to neither discount nor a premium. So this is how you identify a major pullback and a minor pullback in the market. So for example, we have said in a NAB trend, the market makes a series of higher highs and higher lows. So let's take an example. This is an uptrend, okay? This is an uptrend here. So you can have something like this in the market okay the market is still bullish you can see 
the market is still bullish but in this bullish market it can get that in the same same uh, direction the same same trend there is a certain zone where the market was selling okay that does not mean that the market had shifted the orders from the bullish order flow to bearish order flow so this now when you need to identify between major pullbacks in the market and uh, minor pullbacks in the market so when the market makes this series of higher highs and higher lows uh, if a higher high is violated this is what we refer to as a, a break of structure here this is what we can call this a break of structure to the upside the other one here you can call it a break of structure to the upside okay this is a break of structure to the upside so identifying between a major pullback and a minor pullback this is where the problem comes in for many of the traders so you get that when the market prints this low here okay so this is the low that the market printed then this is the high that the market printed okay this is the low and this is the high here so for us to get a good pullback in the market a major pullback in the market we have said a major pullback makes a move up to a discount or premium level okay so discount what do i mean by discount and i'll be taking this in the next slide so by discount we mean you take a, your fib levels take your fib level and you'll be looking at anything that is below the 50 percent okay so 50 percent is uh this yeah so this is the 50 percent of your fib okay then the discount the discounted price is anything that is below this this is the discounted price anything that is below the 50 50 percent is a discounted price okay so after we have seen that the market has made a major break into the market okay what do we do we take our fib level from the swing low where the move started up to the swing high okay and we will be looking at a pullback to the discount for example you can see in this market here we made a pullback to more than 50 percent and almost 78 percent therefore this one is a major pullback in the market here okay then after that we had this the market forming this high so this high here is not a major high why are we referring to this not as a major high because at this high you can see uh the leg from this to this this is the leg okay this is the leg this is your major structure here so anything that is inside here is a micro this is a micro structure all these are inside here those are the micro micro structures so we'll be looking at after the market has mitigated for example an area of demand here at a discount and the market has started buying okay then we'll be looking at another the next swing structure okay while the market will manage to break another high okay so the market comes here breaks this high and then this one here becomes our swing low this one here it becomes our swing low then you have this which is an internal structure that was broken so this one here still remains our swing low. uh the market now breaks this structure to the upside and prints this high okay after the market has printed this high what will you be expecting again we would like to see a pullback to more than 50 percent of uh, the fib levels for us to get a good pullback for us to buy into so you take again your fib levels take your fib level so assume this is not here assume this is not here for now so this is our discounted price we would like to see a pullback to the discount for us to get into the buy okay so this here is our point of interest so what does the market do the market uh breaks another structure to the upside which is this one here so after this structure has been broken to the upside and we saw that at this market did not manage to pull back to an area of discount then this disqualifies this to be a major break of structure in the market why it didn't pull back to an area of more than 50 percent in the market okay if for example it had pulled back to this zone then this is broken we would identify this as a major break but since it does not pull back to an area of a discount then we are going to be seeing this as a minor pullback 
or a minor break of structure into the market of which this is liquidity that is created in such areas okay when the market does not pull back to an area of a discount most of the time it is liquidity and i'm talking this out of experience so again you can see the market is not ready to pull back to an area of a discount and then again here we have another structure being broken to the upside okay and then what we saw next is the market coming and breaking all these structures here okay validating uh or this validating this all these structures here and pull back now to an area of a discount and then continue with it with the buy so most of the time when the market does not pull back to an area of a discount mostly it's liquidity that the market is creating and uh, it is going to come back okay pull back to an area of a discount and then what you are going to have next now is a major break this will be a major break of structure because now the market has pulled back to an area of of discount so that is for a buying market okay so we have talked about about discount in a bull market we have said the market makes a series of higher highs and higher lows and each high form is a weak high and each low is a strong low so for us to get into a buy position we must consider discount okay so by discount we mean buying at a level that is lower than 50 percent of the feed level now we go to the flip side of the coin which is the premium so i will delete all this and we go to the premium so for the premium when you are looking to sell into the market we have said the market prints series of lower lows and lower highs okay lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs okay so this is the real phase of the market i'm going to get this very often okay so look at this this is a downtrend normally we draw this like this when you are explaining but that is not what happens in the market the market does not move in such a way it moves in this way here okay so we have said in a downtrend the market is making series of lower lows and lower highs lower lows lower highs here lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs and you have lower lows lower highs of that okay so the market is printing series of lower lows and lower highs so when you want to identify valid pullbacks and invalid pullbacks then we still have to consider what we have said about discount let me go back here we still have to consider discount into our trades minutes we still have to consider a premium now not discount we have to consider premium side we have to consider the premium side so after the market breaks a structure to the downside here after the market breaks a structure to the downside we can refer to this as a break of structure we need now to set our fib levels from the swing high to the swing low of that leg then we can be looking to sell at a premium level which is this one here okay so this one we can refer to this as a valid pullback because it has pulled back to more than 50 percent okay now after that the market again came here and broke a structure to the downside so leaving this swing high of which we have said this is a strong high this one here is our strong high strong high that one okay that is our current strong high so between this swing here we have to place again our fib level from the swing high to the swing low after the market has broken a structure so we need to see the market pulling back okay to an area of premium for us to sell so look at this at this zone here the market did not manage to pull back to an area of premium and this is what we are calling or we are referring to as liquidity in the market and this market here did not pull back to an area of premium and then what happened next year and boom you broke up uh, this structure here and internal structure and you created the last premium and you continue with the sale so this here the area that broke a structure but had not pulled back to an area of premium this is not a major break of structure in the market this is a minor break of structure why the market had not pulled back to an area of premium 
for sellers to get into this market. Remember the theory that we need to sell high and we need to buy low in the market, right? So most sellers will be looking to sell at an area of more than uh, 50%. We want to sell at the highest prices possible. That is why we want to sell at uh, an area of above 50% in the uh, trip levels. So after that, we got the market coming back and uh, not by uh, about this on high. And then the next thing that we got is and now a good break of structure to the downside. This one here, we can refer to this here as a good or a major break of structure to the downside. Okay. And after this, you can see now the market printed this one. So again, you take your fib level from the swing high to the swing low of that move, swing high to the swing low of this move. Anything that is not discounted or anything that is not premium, sorry, that is liquidity, okay? And it's not a major pullback into the market. So in uh, in this case scenario here, you can see the market pullback here, not premium, again pullback here and then came here and broke a structure here. So this is not a major structure being broken, why? The market did not pull back to an area of premium. Then the market pulled back now to the premium, and now we got the major break of structure here. Okay, we got this structure being broken. So this is how you identify between the major and the minor. So you have that being broken there, and the market pulled back. So look at this: the market again pulls back not to areas of premium, and then breaks another structure here break that structure there so this one becomes a minor if we put our fib levels from this thing high to this thing low so this is a major because if you pull back to almost 61 you can refer to this also as a major break off of structure so that is what we need to consider uh, before we look at the premium side so in a bears market uh, the market prints a series of lower lows and lower highs each lower high form in the market we have said it's a strong high. These ones here, the uh, strong high. These ones here. Okay. But for you to consider it as a strong high, you need to consider did the market pull back to an area of premium. Okay. For it to become a strong high. And uh, to consider taking a sell position, we have said you must consider taking premium levels. So premium levels is where uh, it's a level above 50% of the fifth levels where prices would be high to sell. From. Remember the old theory of selling high and buying low. Okay, and uh, on the next slide, that is the last slide, uh, setting your fifth level. So this is our last slide. So now that we have seen, we want to buy at a discount and sell at premium. We must be able to set our fifth level to rhyme with that, and we are going to be using trading view for that. So I'm going to delete everything. And I'm going to put my FIB level from, uh, for example, this low to this high. And I'm going to reset my FIB levels to uh, the uh, apply defaults. Okay, so that is the default. If you open trading view, the default will be like this one. Here. The default FIB level. So now you need to set your FIB level. Let me delete this because they are taking too much space. You need to delete your FIB levels and set them. Not on oh, that's not the FIB. This is the FIB. You need to delete your FIB levels here. You need to set your FIB levels, okay? So you'll go to settings here. Yeah? And on settings, we are only interested with 0%, okay? We are not interested with 0.38. You remove that. You remove that also. We don't want to see 0.5 also. We want to see the 0 0.7, 0. Uh, we also need to see 1. Then the rest here, you are going to be removing them. You can remove this, remove this, remove that, then remove that also. So you're going to be remaining with this. Then after that, you can uh, remove the background there. Not ne very much necessary. Then our FIB level should be in percentage. You need to see that on our percentage. Then you don't want to see the prices. Do you want, yeah, prices? No, we don't want to see the prices. Then uh, let's see how it looks. The trend line uh, is not a must. So let me first look at how it is. So there is your FIB level. Uh, for me, I had set mine to, I don't want to see the trend line. Let me check. Yeah. So I have removed the trend line. Then now you can customize to the color that you want. 
uh, either to black like that. Yeah, black is fine for me. So that is how you customize your your feed level to know the discount. The discount is anywhere is between this 61 and 100, and the premium is the opposite. Yeah, 61 and 100 on the flip side of the coin. So we are done with uh, today's video. Let us meet in structure mapping part two. Thank you for watching and kindly subscribe to the channel.